Hi everyone, this is Renan from Developer Soapbox and today I'm going to be showing you a really neat trick with Postman to help you uh, interpret your JSON to basically make this look like this. So let's get started. So for this video, we're going to be using the Star Wars API. So uh, if you're not familiar with this, it's basically just an open API which gives you access to essentially an encyclopedia of uh, Star Wars, but in uh, as a RESTful service. So it's it's really cool, uh, especially for Star Wars nerd. I highly recommend this. Um, you know, if you're if you're trying to learn a new um, front end framework and you don't want to develop um, a RESTful API just to try out, you know, something for the front end, you know, you can go and just just use this. And uh... so for this example, I'm just going to keep it simple, and I'm just going to use the people resource that we have shown here, which essentially just returns back uh, a list, a collection of uh, people within the Star Wars universe. So if I go back to Postman and get a copy, I'm just going to create a new request uh, for my request name. I'm just going to call it Star Wars API get people. Uh, I already have a collection folder here. so. I'm just going to save it in there and I'm just going to do a get to swapi.co api people. So if I get this, we can see that it returns or JSON. And the way that we're going to be turning the JSON payload into a HTML table, really something nicer to, uh, to visualize, is by using the visualize feature of Postman. So uh, what this does is it actually leverages tests. Uh, if you're not familiar with tests, it's essentially just allows you to specify a JavaScript snippet that's executed um, after your uh, payload is returned, after your... So you, you, you can actually use this for unit tests, which can be pretty useful if you're uh, trying to test out your uh, RESTful endpoints. But because this executes after uh, you, you have your response, it also allows you, in this case, to essentially parse the data um, and basically um, apply a template into it so uh, we can actually get a HTML table. And uh, to, to save you guys some time, I, I do have this copy and pasted, right? So I'm just gonna paste the general layout and uh, let me go over it to explain what's going on. So uh, first thing, I'll start at the bottom here. So uh, we're basically just using, uh, again, it's a visualizer. So, so this is a Postman API, right? So the PM, uh, that's for Postman. And you're basically setting um, the visualizer, right? So this is like a setter for the, for the visualizer. And you're passing in the template, which we're defining up here. And then uh, the other argument is essentially a JavaScript object. And it's just, it's just taking in the, the response JSON, right? So um, for, the, for the critical part here, let's jump back to the template. All we're doing here is essentially specifying uh, some HTML how that, that's going to be applied to the, the JSON response, right? So here we just, all we need to do is specify a table and you can specify your headers, right? So here I want the name and birth here. And then here, this is what's actually um, doing something. It's, uh, it's going to iterate through the response results. If we go back to the JSON, you can see that, so response is gonna be my root. And within response, I have a collection of results. So it's gonna iterate for every record within results. It's gonna get the name and the birth year and apply this format to that. All right, so let's go ahead and run this so you can see what it looks like. And there's my JSON, if I click on visualize, there we go. So you can see that, uh, especially if you're, you know, if you're trying to look at hundreds of records, this will make it a lot easier uh, to look at. Um, you can actually add in additional as, as many fields as you want. So let's say you, you wanted to add uh, eye color. So, you know, basically just add the, the header. And then if I go down here to the data, same thing, TD. And you, you just have to uh, specify the, the actual uh, fields that are going to be populated. 
using this uh, the double bracket uh, format. So essentially, uh, it's a mustache. So if I run this again, you can see that it added the eye color. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you found this uh, video helpful, please go ahead and hit that like button. And if you'd like to receive any uh, notifications whenever I release new content, please do subscribe. Thanks.